Hey guys, so this week I haven't been playing anything new because nothing really new has come out in a little bit. Well, I think next week I'm going to start, you know, I, I think Soul Calibur is next week. But uh, I've been going through some of the Wii games I haven't had a chance to play since I just got a Wii. Uh, and this week I'm going with Kirby's Epic Yarn, which if you don't know is a Kirby game, but he's made of string! Oh my god, look how cute that is. Well, is it a good game? Is it even a game? I hear people go, oh my god, it's too easy. It's basically not even a video game. Well, here's my opinion. Kirby's Epic Yarn. Back in 2010, I didn't really pay attention to Nintendo Wii games, mostly because I didn't have a Wii, but I do remember hearing a lot of complaints about how easy Kirby's Epic Yarn was. The complaints ran the gamut from, I, you know, I wish it was a little harder, to, oh my god, it's not even a real video game! But despite all the hullabaloo, the game actually received very high marks from the reviewers that I actually pay attention to. So when I finally got my Nintendo Wii, Kirby's Epic Yarn was right there at the top of the list of games I really wanted to check out. The story of Kirby's Epic Yarn is, is pretty simple. It's very childish. It's kind of told like a cartoon pop-up book that you tell a six-year-old or something. Essentially, Kirby was running around one day and then some wizard dude turned him into string and then sucked him up into this place called Patchland. And now Kirby has to fix Patchland so he can go home and then stop the evil dude in Dreamland. The Nintendo Wii is not really known for its, you know, gritty, you know, M for Mature rated games, but the storytelling of this does feel kind of like it was written for babies. But that's not exactly a bad thing, because it does kind of fit together with the aesthetic that they've built for the game. The art style of Kirby's Epic Yarn makes me feel like the game designer was like stuck in a Joanne's fabric with his mom for way too long and just decided to make a game about it. Kirby and all the enemies are made out of string essentially and their buttons and the backgrounds are all like fabric and stuff. The entire aesthetic of the game adds to this whole concept that this is all kind of your imagination that you're kind of putting together you got some string together and a couple of pieces of fabric and you're making your own game. On top of that the soundtrack is very sort of cutesy and whimsical kind of stuff not too threatening not you know no epic scores or anything and it really adds to the experience. Honestly a lot of gamers are going to be turned away from this game because it feels very cutesy and a lot of us are pretty much dead inside. The concept of whimsical and fluffy and light and joyful are things that don't really resonate in the gamer culture. I imagine most of us would go for a much different Kirby game. Kirby was just your average beat cop, trying to keep his head above water in this corrupt town. That is until one day they shot his partner. Now it's time for him to take matters into his own hands and clean up these streets. Justice is coming in Kirby's epic nightmare. In this Kirby game, instead of, you know, eating your foes and then absorbing their powers, you're string, you can't really do that. But because you are kind of this weird stringy material now, you can transform into all kinds of things. Whenever Kirby jumps into water, he's like a submarine, and whenever you're falling, you can turn into a parachute and stuff like that. If you want to go faster, you can turn into a race car. And in certain points during levels, you can transform into, like, bigger specialized things, like a giant tank that fires missiles, or, like, a surfer dude, or a dolphin, or a spaceship that shoots lasers or something. And like with every other platformer, your goal is to go from the left to the right, and these transformations facilitate that. Besides all the transformations, the gameplay is pretty standard platforming stuff. You go from left to right, beat a stage, then you beat another couple of stage, then you fight a boss, and then you unlock the next area, and so on and so forth. But one of the interesting things, and the main reason why most people say this game is too easy, or not even really a game after all, is that you can't die. At no point in any part of this game, including the boss battles, can Kirby die and you fail a stage. This game has no death penalties. At any point you can fall into a hole or get crushed by something or step on some spikes and you won't die. You will lose some of the like crystal things that you've collected and you can lose all of them if you keep dying over and over again. But even if you have no crystals, you can still go and you still go but um, start over, you know. You don't even have to like go back to a checkpoint like in Rayman Origins. You just start from wherever you were hit or, you know, if you fall into a hole, a little thing picks you up and puts you back on the ledge. In terms of getting from point A to point B and beating each level and beating the game, there isn't a whole lot of difficulty. You can get through the levels pretty easily and without the death penalty, you don't have to worry about having to restart, so it doesn't seem to be very hard. 
But part of the challenge of the game is trying to get through the levels without, you know, dying too much and keeping your crystals and getting enough crystals and collecting all the little doodads and stuff like that throughout the level. None of this is exactly necessary for beating the game, it's more of a self-imposed challenge, which is kind of interesting. Despite the fact that this game is actually very easy on the surface, and doesn't seem to offer a lot of challenge, even though if you go a little deeper there is challenge, sort of the self-imposed challenge, I really enjoyed this game. It doesn't, it's not very hard, it's not Super Meat Boy, it's not even Rayman Origins, but it doesn't have to be, because it's not trying to be, it's trying to be this cute, fun game that Anyone can play, that there's challenge there if you want it, but it doesn't, it's not, you know, it doesn't scream out, it's like, YOU CAN'T BEAT ME, HAHA, -ha. it's, it's Kirby, he's cute, he's made of string, it's, it's fun, if you're looking for a game, you know, if you're looking for a Wii game that's a platformer that a lot, anyone can pick up and play, this is a great game for that, if you're looking for something a little cutesy that doesn't offer a lot of challenge, at least on the surface, then this is the game for you, if you're looking for something dark and gritty and fun, Why'd you pick up a Wii anyways? This is, it's a game for babies, and uh, that's what the Wii is, but it's, it's a beautiful, fun game for babies that I enjoy.